We separated the following items thinking that they'll be recycled, like snack packs, instant rice covers, and containers. However, most of them are not being recycled. Did you know about this? Only 30% of plastics are recycled. 70% are buried, burnt, or dumped in the ocean, polluting the environment. Then why is the recycling rate of plastic so low? It's because 90% of the plastic recycling is done through the mechanical recycling method. Mechanical recycling selects the recyclable plastic products, washes them clean, crushes them, and melts them into bean-sized pieces. The problem is, plastic products with mixed components such as snack pack, instant rice cover, containers, or any other contaminated products cannot be recycled mechanically. So even though we take off the label, clean, and separate these products, only part of them can be recycled. Is there any other way to increase the plastic recycling rate? Yes, here we have. It's the plastic pyrolysis technology. Plastic pyrolysis technology is the thermal cracking of plastic in order to turn the waste plastics back to the feedstock for new plastics. Let's take a look at the process. First of all, sort non-plastic materials such as metal and glass mixed with waste plastics. Put waste plastics in a reactor. Next, heat the reactor from the outside in the absence of oxygen. After filtering toxic substances from the products, the feedstock to make new plastic will be produced. So it doesn't require a step to sort waste plastics into same material. And a bit of contamination is no problem. LG Chem took a step further to increase the plastic recycling rate. How about steaming the waste plastics instead of heating containers directly? Supercritical technology is about cracking plastic molecule chains using high temperature and pressure steam, like steaming dumplings rather than heating reactors from outside. In this way, more than 8 tons of recycled feedstock can be made from 10 tons of waste plastic. The ratio is even higher than the conventional plastic pyrolysis technology. The rest 2 tons from 10 tons of waste plastic are off gas. They are reused as energy to produce steam. Also, there is no char generated from the hot surface of reactor as a result of applying direct heat. Therefore, this technology makes possible to operate the plant continuously without frequent maintenance for char removal inside of the reactor. It's possible to improve the plastic recycling rate. And it reduces our effort to wash plastic containers as clean as a whistle before disposal. LG Chem found out the advantage of supercritical technology early. So LG Chem invested in Mura Technology Limited, the company that owns the fundamental technology. And the first recycle plant using supercritical steam in Korea is being constructed in Tangjing, Chungnam by November 2024. Furthermore, LG Chem has developed a biodegradable plastic that more than 90% can degrade in 120 days by their own technology, and producing high-quality recycled plastic materials as well. LG Chem is serious about solving the environmental issues from waste plastics. Please take an interest in LG's move to strive for achieve circular economy in order to save the Earth.